G'day everyone. In this video I'm just going to be doing a bit of a shootout between three of the do-it-yourself guitar pedals that I've built. Uh, this one here is the Orange Squeezer. This one's the Dodd 280, I think it's called, uh, 250. Uh, the one on Tonepad, the optical compressor. And this is the Ross compressor, also Tonepad layout. In case you haven't used a compressor before and you're not sure what they do, basically from my understanding is they kind of level out your signal as it comes in. Some of your bass notes have a higher volume um, than your treble notes. They have a they have a higher output signal, and the compressor levels them all out and um, and sort of keeps them at that level. Tries to hold that level, um, which is why they can sound good with the overdrive. It it gives you more sustain. Uh, so first, I'll just do a sound demo. Uh, you you may or may not be able to hear this. I'm not quite sure how this is going to record. But um, yeah, the the uh, compressors are pretty subtle effects, so uh, you might you you're probably going to be able to hear these two, but I'm not convinced you'll be able to hear this one because this one's actually quite subtle.
So as you could hear in that last bit, I was just tapping the uh, bottom string just very lightly and you could hear that the compressor was kind of um, uh, struggling with it a bit. So that's why I just, pulled, I just pushed it back um, slightly. And also that the, the, the last bit that I was playing, um, I was actually just tapping those strings very lightly, again with the Ross, the, the very last thing I played with the Ross compressor, I was just tapping the um, bottom strings very lightly and then bashing them pretty hard and you could hear that the wasn't a huge volume difference. That's that's probably why they say that a compressor is something more that you feel um, uh, you feel it more than you hear, uh, because it sort of levels out your um, your the emphasis that you're putting uh, in in with your strumming and your picking. It sort of flattens it out. So as far as my impression of the three pedals, I like the Orange Squeezer for a subtle compressor. Um, there's no crap involved. You just plug it in. It's got a nice amount. Of natural compression and um, yeah you just got to set that to about unity and um, just set it and leave it so as far as the optical and the um, Ross compressor go I'd actually probably go for the Ross compressor the optical compressor's got uh, a bit of a characteristic I guess you'd call it um, when when you start to crank up the the amount of com compression uh, when you hit a string it sounds like it takes about half a second for the compression to kick in so it's like so it goes like loud and then just sort of and then just backs off really fast and I don't really like that quality I think it should just be it should just clamp it straight away and you're not and not hear the note at its full volume and then come back if you know what I mean um, so I'm not a big fan of that on the lower setting it's settings it's okay but the Ross doesn't do that anywhere um, anywhere on the um, on the range, uh, it, it just it just sounds good no matter where you put it. So that's probably why I'd go with the Ross, and it's pretty it's a pretty popular do-it-yourself project. Actually, a lot of people do the the Ross compressor, but it actually uses the three the CA three o eight o, which are becoming a little bit pricey. They're not the cheapest um, the cheapest I see to get, but um, still, I yeah I. I don't think I'd bother with that. I'd probably go with the Ross, um, or if you if you want an easy project, go with the Orange Squeezer because it's it's basic, but it's it's good. It's really good. Nice natural, no um, no stuffing around with that one. So thanks for watching that. Hope it um, helps you decide which one you're going to build. Um, there's there's more out there as well. There's tons of compressors, um, do-it-yourself projects. So uh, yeah, make sure you have a look around. And um, thanks for watching.